Hello, class. Hello, teacher. How are you, Daniel? Hi. And you? I'm good. It's hot. Oh. It's hot. Good. It's hot. Bien duro. It's hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening, teacher, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Carmen Lisette. How are you? Very well. What about you? I'm all right. I'm hot. I was telling Daniel that it's hot today. How was your weekend? It was good. It was busy week weekend. You know, family time, supermarket. And your weekend? How was your weekend? What did you do? I'm so sad yesterday because uh, one... Um, how do you say, how do you say, compañera de colegio? Classmate. Classmate, sorry, because one classmate died yesterday for COVID, so it was amazing and surprising. I'm sorry, what is her name? Carmen Lizette Vigil. From what, what college, she, what school? She worked in Liceo Salvadoreño. Right oh, now, okay, no. Mm -hmm. no, but uh, where, where did she study? What high school? In Colegio La Asunción. Did you study in Asunción? Yes. Do you know Claudia Figueroa? Baltrons. Ah, it's your, it's your sister. She's my wife. <laughs> oh, I'm really? <laughs> yes. My God. It's a little world. That's why I ask you because my wife was very, very sad yesterday. Yes, teacher. Yes, it was a surprise for all classmates. She was shocked that she she died of COVID, correct? Yes, yes. And uh, she told me that Saturday, Carmen, Carmen, she Carmen. wrote she wrote in the chat, "Hi everybody, I'm okay. I'm better." And then she died. Yes, was a surprise. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, so you see the world is very small. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Welcome, Francisco Javier. He's here. Thank you, teacher. How are you? How was your weekend? It's good. Le What did you do on the weekend? Uh, I visited my friend. Oh, okay. A uh, Javier le preguntó, oye, escuché. A Francisco. Ah. Uh. No. Okay, you visited your friend. All right, good. Hi, Maribel Pineda. How are you? Good evening, teacher, everybody. Good evening, Maribel. Hey, Evelyn is here. Daniel is here. Evelyn, did you go? Did you have to go to San Miguel? <laughs> no, I don't. I oh, okay, good. <laughs> Daniel Henaro is here. All right. Okay. So let's start. Is it raining in your house in this moment? No, I finished. No, it's him. It's not, okay. Let me see them.
Hold on, I'm pulling up. I'm going to share my screen. So remember last week we were studying a little bit about going to and will. Yes, we yeah. studied about this, yes. So remember, sometimes the difference is not important, the difference, but sometimes yes. Yes, what is the difference between I am going to and will? Daniel, do you remember? Will um, is futuro. Algo future. Uh -huh, future. Y... ¿Cuál era el otro? Going to. Going to. Mm -hmm. Going to is, is, is um, algo que haré. So what, what is the uh, difference? It's future too. Um, no remember. You don't remember? No, no, no remember. Hey, Nara, do you, so, do you do you do you remember the difference between I will and I am going to? Uh, will is a future. I am going to is a future, pero in verbo, action. The two, the two are actions, because you can say I will eat and I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat like a plant. Will is a something that is. Uh... Okay. Uh, yes, remember, some, like I told you, sometimes the difference is not important, and sometimes maybe it's important. Because when you say I'm going to, it's future, but it's a plan. When you say I will, it's future, but it's a compromise, a promise. Yes. For example, my niece, Sobrina, my niece, she will get married Friday. So Friday, I will go to the wedding. I will go to the wedding. So it's a compromise. It's not a plan. It's, it's un poco más que un plan. Porque va a estar bien difícil que yo no vaya a esa cita. Entonces ahí yo puedo decir, y los dos son correctos. Oh, Friday I am going to go to a wedding. Or Friday I will go to a wedding. Okay. So um, the only way maybe I won't go to the wedding is if COVID cancels the, if Bukele cancels the party. <laughs> Ojalá si no le doy legal. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, so, so that is the difference. Remember? So like I told you, sometimes the difference is not very important. But sometimes it is. For example, is this a, what do you think? This is more a promise or a, or a, or a plan. Tomorrow, I am going to, I'm going to visit my friends. Is that a plan or a promise? It's a plan. plan. It's a plan. Okay, tomorrow I will go to the dentist. It's a promise. Yeah, that's or a commitment, a compromise, yeah. Why? Because maybe I already spoke with the secretary of the dentist. Hey, look, tomorrow at one. A la una, see, yeah, okay, boom. I'm, I am compromised tomorrow. I am and the dentist is compromised tomorrow at one. Okay. 
So, because you have because you have a medical appointment, right? Yes. No, it's yeah, but it's a compromise because remember to go to a dentist or any doctor, you need to make a reservation and an appointment. Yes. So it's very different if I say tomorrow I'm going to go to the dentist. That's a plan because I see the cita. No. Okay, so it's a plan. But imagine today I call the secretary. Hola, mira, si mañana quiero. Okay, a qué hora puedo? La una. Okay, pum pum. Then okay, thank you. So then tomorrow, if you tell me, hey teacher, you want to eat lunch tomorrow? Oh, I can't. Why? Because tomorrow I will go to the dentist. So that, that, that's the difference. And that's the difference in Spanish too. That is the difference. Yo voy a comer y yo comeré. O sea, si hoy sin día sus hijos o a alguien chiquito le preguntan, ¿qué es la diferencia? O ya saben. Uno es un plan y el otro es un compromiso. Um, pero como les recuerdo, que compromiso no vayan a pensar que es de vida o muerte. O sea, como les digo, la boda de mi sobrina este, este viernes, yo iré. Está bien difícil que cambie los planes. Solo que sea una big emergency. Pero ya estoy comprometido el viernes que iré. Ya está reservada mi mesa y todo. Ya reservé yo que iba a ir. <clears throat> so. Oh my God. I will take my suit to the dry cleaning. I will. Okay, so knowledge check instructions read and listen to the following conversation and answer the questions. Leah, oops, Leah, y escuche la siguiente. Oh, sí está en español. Okay, so let's listen to the next to the conversation. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. All right, so let me see. So, where are the girls going to stay? Okay, I'm not going to talk either. If you don't talk, I don't talk. The second one? At a relative's beach house? Yes, teacher. Do you know what is a relative? Relative beach house. Is parientes? Yes, a relative is a family member. Now, in English, parent, porque pariente soy bastante a parent, parent is only mother and father. So, mi primo is not my parent. Mi primo, my cousin, is my relatives. My relatives. Okay. Okay. Uh, Carmen Lee said, are you married? Yes, I'm married. Okay. What is the, for you, what is the family of your husband? For me, what is? 
Uh -huh. Who is the family of your husband? ¿Cómo se dice eso en inglés? Am I... I'm sorry, I don't understand, but for example, I have a mother-in-law, father-in-law, my, and et cetera. My sister and, and brother and brother-in-law. Okay, look, look at the chat. Yes. It says in law. In law. Uh -huh. Not love. Law, father-in-law. Uh-huh, it's law. Uh -huh. Entonces, law. law is ley. So, father-in-law is padre por ley. Mm -hmm. Mother-in-law. Brother -in -law. And only, only immediate family. Only father, mother, sister, brother. Uncle. Yes. Uncles, cousins. Is, no, that's, that's my, my wife's uncle. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y si queremos decirlo más así, in-laws. What did you do on the weekend? I visited my in-laws. It's for general way. Yeah, it's in general. So that I understand when you say, I understand, oh, so you went to your husband's family. Hmm. Okay. Believe it or not, I really love my in-laws. Really? Yeah, they're very, very cool. That's cool. Yeah, not, not many people like their in-laws. I like all my in-laws. All right, so do you understand? Yes. 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 All right. Good. Daniel, kids, in laws. In laws. Mm -hmm. L o o s. No, está está escrito en el chat. Ah, no he visto el chat, permite. Oh, it's okay. In it's right. No problem. It, it is what is in laws. Marvel, what is in laws? Need, wow, no one's connected today. I'm only going to talk to people I can see then, porque. Okay, I'm really sorry, but if, if I don't see your face, I can't talk to you. Okay, so um, Maribel, ¿qué es in laws? Parientes por ley. Thank you. Very good. All right, so. Familia política. Familia política, yes. Thank you, Melissa. Melissa, Evan. Yes. Okay. Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have for the weekend? She's going to go to the beach with her cousin. With her cousin, good. What might Julia do with her cousin? Go fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Do you like fishing? Have you ever fished? Okay. Okay. I am booked for the, what is I am booked? Mm, close. Look, when you call a hotel and you make reservations, and then people say, I'm sorry, the hotel is booked. What does that mean? How do, uh, like a crowded? It's full. Uh -huh. Full. Uh -huh. Entonces, so the expression is, I am booked for the weekend. For example, me, I think I will be booked for the weekend because Friday, 
Friday is the wedding. I imagine Saturday a family breakfast. Maybe Sunday the family in the beach. I don't know. So I am booked for the weekend. You're very but, busy with a lot of activities. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So that means I can't make plans for the weekend because my family is going to come for this wedding. So I'm very positive. Saturday and Sunday, we will have reunions and family dinner maybe or something. So I'm booked. Okay, so number four, it says, I am booked for this weekend. I will go camping. I'm going to go camping or I might go camping. I am going to go camping. Mm -hmm. Cualquiera está buena. I will go camping is also correct. I might go camping. For me, the three are correct. Don't worry. Pero yo sé que el, 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 la plataforma solo uno tiene que ser. So, what should you say if you're unsure? Maybe. Maybe. I will. Maybe I will around. Maybe I will. Uh, let me see. Francisco, you, you have a daughter. You have one daughter, correct? Yes. How old is your daughter? She's 10 years. She is 10. Yes. Okay. What do you think, Francisco? Will you be a jealous father? Yes. Uh, yes. I. Como puedo decir? I will be. Lo I, will, I, will, I will be a jealous. I have one question, Francisco. Yeah. I imagine, okay, um, this okay. weekend, this past weekend, I was with my son, my a boy, my son, he is five. And he says, Papa, quiero hacer pipi? Okay, let's go to the bathroom, okay? It's easy because it's man, man. What happens when, when it's a girl? What do you do? Did you ever, did you ever have a situation with your daughter, only you and your daughter, maybe in Metro Centro, and your daughter is six. Says, Papa, quiero ir baño. What do you do? Do you go to the girls' bathroom or the men's bathroom? Uh, I go, I go, go uh, men's bathroom. You take, you took your daughter to the men's bathroom. Yes. Okay. Nunca me he puesto a pensar en eso como, wow, that must be strange. <laughs> because, yes. you know, my boy is a boy, so it, vamos. Y hasta lo levante. Dale. And I said, wow, what if it's a girl? Yeah. Okay. Let's see the next. Listening. Instructions to the conversation, check the correct answer. Jen likes her new apartment because, okay, let's listen to them. Owner prevented downloads and playback to this file. Hmm. Hey. That's something.
ustedes lo pudieron oír. Sí. Costó escucharlo. ¿Manda? Costó escucharlo. Really? Listen to the conversations. Oh, Check the okay. correct answers. One. I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. That's good. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. I can finally start saving some money. Two. I was late to work again today. There's just too much traffic. I know. And then there are never enough parking spaces. Exactly. I can never find a place to park my car. So, Seth, why don't you move downtown? You could live near your office. I'd like to. The problem is, I really can't afford to live downtown. It's too expensive. But at least you could save some money by walking to work. Three. I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. Why, Karen? What's wrong with the place you're living now? Well, it's dingy and cramped. I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean, it's very safe and private. I just wish it weren't so small. What kind of place are you looking for exactly? Some place that's more spacious, but not too expensive. Good luck. Four. So, Doug, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's great. What do you like about it? Do you remember how dark my old apartment was? Yeah, it was kind of depressing. Well, my new apartment is on the top floor, so it's nice and bright. Is there anything you don't like? Some of the apartments on the first floor have a small garden, and I'd like to grow flowers or maybe a few vegetables. So I kind of wish I lived on the first floor. I guess you can't have everything. Oh, Jen likes her new apartment because... Cheaper than her old apartment. Which one? The last one. It's cheaper than her apartment. You know, actually, all of them are correct. She mentioned they had... Oh, no, it has two bathrooms or bedrooms. Bathroom. It's true. Seth wants to live downtown because he works there. Do you know what is downtown? He works there. Do you know what is downtown? El centro de la ciudad. Yes. El centro de la ciudad. Usually, like in the United States, downtown is a beautiful part. Uh, not not in El Salvador. <laughs> yeah, so usually like in a in a beautiful city, downtown is, is where all the action is. Except in San Salvador. You don't want to go to downtown. I like to go downtown. Okay, number three, Karen's apartment is too small. Too, too small. Awesome. Doug wishes his new apartment were on the, on the first floor. floor. Why? Uh huh. Tell me why. It has a little garden. It has a little garden, yes. And he likes to grow flowers. Remember? No. He said, yes. He, uh, well, at the end, he says, where is his apartment? In what floor? On the first it, floor. No, it's on the top floor. His apartment. And he says he wishes his apartment were on the first floor because they have a garden and he likes to grow flowers and vegetables. That's what he said.
Vocabulary, instructions, read each sentence, choose the best adjective. I love my neighborhood. It's very? Safe. It's safe. 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 All right. Safe. Um, Renato, where do you live? San Martín. San Salvador. No, I am live in uh, San Salvador. Where? Uh, Sector Viral Valle, Constitu okay. Constitution. On oh, Constitution Boulevard, okay. Can you mm -hmm. describe in an adjective your neighborhood? Do you like it? Mm. It's... Repeat question, do you, teacher. Do you like La Miral Valle? Do you like it? No, it's nice, dangerous, ugly, big, small. Mm. Give me an adjective. It's... Mm. It is mm, in El Valle. Eh, mm, very. I no remember teacher. It's very eh, ugly. ¿Cómo decir? Nice. Only. Oh, give me an adjective. Only nice. It's very nice. It's nice. Okay, good. It's, it's nice. nice. I remember that Miral Valle. The only thing I don't like about Miral Valle, the only thing is Los Isimiles. No, what is that street? La Famosa Calle. La que va a dar. San Antonio Abad. La Bernal. Bernal, I hate that street, La Bernal. It's traffic always. There's a traffic light, semáforo in every yeah, corner. Monument, Constitution. Constitution Boulevard, yes. Yeah, Mirabaya is nice. Yeah. Has a lot of bars. <laughs> I remember. It's difficult traffic. Yes, the traffic is very difficult. Okay, good, I start, that's an adjective. You know, La Miral Valle, the traffic is very difficult. Yeah. Evelyn, where do you live in Santa Tecla? In Residencial Betania. Okay. Um, how is that, Residencial? It's safe and very quiet. Oh, that's good. Yes. And everything is near. Oh, that's that's perfect. That's you don't need to go out. Everything is near. Yes. All right. Okay, so those are adjectives. Let me see. Number two, I live on a very busy street. I can get a little bit, I'm, I'm sorry, noisy. I can get a little bit noisy. Noise. Do you understand the expression a little bit? No. Poquito. En buen Salvador. Un poquito. Un poquito. Yeah, en buen salvadoreño. Do you want cake? Um, a little bit. A little bit. Como en todo la pena. Quiere más. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Number three, it says, it's blank to have parking spaces near my apartment. Convenient. 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 Uh, do you have those big mini supers in your neighborhood? Um, near. Near not my like, neighborhood. Not like a supermarket, but a, a very big, nice store. Que le dicen the super, a mini super. Do you have that? Yes, I have. Thank you. Vuelvo y le repito. De verdad. I don't need to practice English. Pero 
no todos, okay, pero en general, si todos se van a quedar callados, créanme que así nunca, en casi más de 15 años, nunca he conocido a alguien que ha aprendido a hablar solo, solo siendo pasivo. Hay que ser activo también. ¿Ya? Yes. Por eso es que nos quedamos como, no sabemos qué decir. Y después me dicen, no, es que yo entiendo todo, yo entiendo todo, pero me cuesta hablar, es por eso. Yo sé que muchos, hay, hay ciertas cosas que hemos hecho hoy que no entienden, no saben qué era, pero nadie me pregunta. Nunca, nunca nadie, bueno, sí, pero nunca me preguntan, teacher, no entiendo. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Y me da lástima porque yo sé que tengo que seguir al siguiente paso y yo sé que cierta gente no entendió eso. Pero no puedo decirles, tiene que salir de ustedes también. Um, no tienen un mini super en su casa, eh, por su... Eh, no, Colombia. only market. Yes, yes, I have. Es como la tienda, una tienda grande que está... Es que eso se llama... Yeah. Eso se llaman convenience stores, por si convenience quieren saber. Uh -huh. Super, Porque supermarket es super. super selectos, right? Super selectos, yes. eh, despensa, Walmart. Convenience store, tienda de conveniencia. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Pero nosotros a veces decimos, vamos al super Julita. Vamos al super in my neighborhood. Ajá, el super. En, ah, y si alguien no sabe, es que, wow, there's a... Y cuando llegan, esto no es super, yeah, it's a very big store. Entonces se llama convenience store. Convenience store. Pero también hay esas tiendas que uno tiene más en su casa que la tienda, que no tiene nada. ¿eh? <laughs> Esos son stores. <laughs> Do you have soda? No. No tal, no. Do you have eyes? No. Ajá, no. Oh, wait. Do you have chocolate bananas? No, fíjese que solo el quineo, pero no hay chocolate. O... <laughs> yeah. Okay, next, number four. Our house is modern and very bright. It has... Huge. Huge. Huge, huge windows. Huge. Thank you. Huge windows. Next. Enough or not enough? What is the difference between enough and too much? Do you remember? Demasiado suficiente. Suficiente o demasiado. What is the problem? Too much. Too much. Too much. Let me give you an example. Um, one beer, boom, two beers, boom, three beers, boom, four, five, six beers. Oh, I'm happy now. <laughs> Seven beers. And I said, okay, no. Hey, otra? No, no, no. Enough. My yeah, I am at that point. No, no, no. That's it. Enough. 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 But if I continue 7, 10, 15, 20, and then I'm just... Ugh. The next day, I am like this, and I said, oh, man, too much. I drank too much. Uh, for example, my house is too much dark. It's too dark. So after two, you put the um, adjective. Your house is too dark. Too dark. Yes. What is the problem with San Miguel? It's too hot. It's too hot. It's not enough hot. It's too hot. Too hot. Hasta se oye el calor. So you. Yeah, really. Yes or no, Evelyn? You can hear it. Like, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> San Miguel is beautiful, but it's too hot. <laughs> All right. Yes. I remember you take a shower, and when you're changing, you're sweating. It's the water. Yes. All right. So enough. Enough is 
good or bad, but two is bad. For example, what do you prefer to have enough friends or too many friends? Enough friends. Too many. You prefer to have too many friends? Too many. You prefer to have too many friends? Yes, I prefer too many friends. Well, okay, Enough so, friends. And then, okay, but in, in your case, Francisco, then too many friends is not okay. It's a lot of friends because when you say too many, it's like in Spanish, when you say demasiado, that means it caused a problem. Okay. Are you married? Yes. Do you remember I, I, what do you remember when you were making the invitations? Do you remember, remember the do you remember the invitations for your wedding for Chihuahua? Do you understand my question? Yes, I, I understand. Okay, good. Do you remember your wedding? A wedding the no party. Formal. Oh, you didn't have a party? Have a party? No. Oh, okay. oh that's right. Uh, I, I live in, I, I live in uh, Free Union. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But remember me, remember me, when you, okay. if you decide to get married in the future, when you make the invitations, it's difficult because you say, oh man, I have too many friends. <laughs> <laughs> the list is very, very long. <laughs> so then you start, but at the way I said, oh, chero, chero, no somos, next. <laughs> Nah, no, él está casado y tiene dos hijos. No, voy a estar bien con la esposa, la mamá y el papá. Hay que invitarlos a ellos también. Nah. And then you say, I remember I told my wife, man, I have too many friends. Because my list, you know, we made, okay, you know, you invite 40, I invite 40. My list was maybe 100. Wow. Wow. No, because you know when you invite a friend, you invite his wife. You need enough food. Or, yeah, and and the majority of my friends live in con la mamá, so I have to invite <laughs> the mothers and the fathers, and and then you say, man, no, that's too many. So that that's a problem. Yes, I love my friends. Yes, it's good to have friends, but in situations, it's not good. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, so then that's, let's see the difference between enough and two. Okay, so number one, our apartment is too small. There are not enough. 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 All right. Number two, people can see into our house. There is not enough. Not privacy. Privacy. Not enough privacy. Good. Privacy. Number three, my car is too small. It doesn't have enough space. space. Those atos. Have you seen those atos? Those cars? Yes. yes. Those, are, those are small, man. Too small. You know the cars I like that they're small, but they have a lot of space are the Kia Souls. Is hey, I got the one. Is the, yeah. the last one. Not enough. Room. Oh yeah, thank you. What I, I put not not rooms enough. Oh, that's not correct. Not enough rooms. All right. Let me see next. Uh, 
Yes, come. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, yeah. so my, my apartment doesn't have as many, as many windows, windows as my old one. Okay. So remember as my, remember as as at the beginning and then yes. Yes. I'd like to compare. Number two, our house is as convenient as, as, convenient as, as, convenient as, as your apartment. Your okay. apartment. Number three, modern apartments often don't have as much as much as, 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 as old ones. Do you like space? Yes, I like space. I in my house I have two patios that we don't use. I don't like them. And my wife, no, 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 because I want to make the living room bigger because it's for me it's unnecessary space. But some people like space for flowers. <laughs> Number uh, letter E is so expressing wishes. So I don't like my new job. I wish. It's square more fun. fun. It's square more fun. I wish it were. Remember, so it's always going to be. Wish were. Work. I wish it were more fun. Yeah. I can't find my cell phone. I wish I could, I could find, it. find it. Could find it. Find it. My boyfriend isn't in good shape. I wish she were in good shape. He were in good shape. Simple past, present. I'm sorry. Simple past. <laughs> Versus present perfect. What is the difference? What is the difference between I lived and I have lived? I lived is like uh, it's over. I I don't live there anymore. Okay. And I have lived is like um actually I continue living there. I, I don't know. Okay, good. You got it. Started in the past, but is is not finished right now. Possible. Very good. Yes. So simple past. I lived. I lived in. I lived in Soyapango for ten years. Example. So that means the action started and the action finished. But you can say I have lived in Soyapango for ten years, so the action started, but is still active. That's present perfect. Perfect example, um, Sanchez Seren was the president. Now, uh, now Nayib Bukele has been the president for three years, I think. Three years or two, no, two or three, two, right? Two. So two. the action started. Yes. The action started two years ago and is still active. That's present perfect. Okay, so it says present perfect versus simple past. Have you ever blank Spanish food? Eating. Eaten. Eating. Eating. Yes. Have you ever eaten? Have you ever eaten Spanish food? Have you ever eaten paella? <laughs> Yes, I have. Yes, I have eaten no, I paella. Haven't. I love paella. No, I haven't. You have never eaten paella? It's so good. Yes. Imitation of paella. <laughs> Imitation where? <laughs> but no, it's the Spanish restaurant. <laughs> oh, 
You know, mm-hmm. you know where they make an okay. Okay, it's not a great paella, but it's mm-hmm. it's decent. In the Spence de Don Juan. Really? Where they make really? the food? Mm-hmm. When you see the paella, make it really nice. It's it's it's. Mm-hmm. They put all the ingredients: pollo, camarón, mm-hmm. chorizo, and so it's decent. Mm. And in Price Mart, in Price Mart, they sell a big, a big tray, like for eleven dollars, I think. Mm-hmm. Of paella, yes. it's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. My my grandmother and my grandfather, they were from Spain. They were from Barcelona, so then they make. They used to. <laughs> they used to make great paella. It was good. Mm-hmm. The original. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. My my mom learned how to make the paella very good. Y, y ahí murió la receta porque... <laughs> Nadie la aprendió. Yes, nunca se me ocurrió decirle, <laughs> you know, to learn that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, number, number two. Yes, I have. I... Blank went. to a Spanish restaurant went. last week. Went. went. Did you blank it? Like. Did you like it? Yes. Like it. It was delicious. Yes, I like it. Uh-huh. Yes, I did. Yes, it was delicious. Good. Yes, it was delicious. Future with will and going to. What blank after class today? Repito, aquí, really, the two can be correct. <laughs> so. What are you going to do after class today? What are you going to do after class today? B, I am definitely blank a movie with a friend. Going to watch. Going to watch. Okay, when blank their vacation? Are they going to? Are they going to take? Excellent. I think they blank will on a go. cruise will go. Will go. Will go. Will go. I'm sorry, you. teacher. I I don't see your screen. Me neither. Really? Yes. Yeah, teacher. Este cuando. Only one minute or two oh, okay, minutes. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay. We will stop there because we only have like three more exercises and we're finished. So um, I want you to learn something in, in, let me see. I want you to learn something. Me voy a salir del protocol. Do you see my screen? Yes. 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 Ay, qué rico se siente. Es que ya, ya, ya tengo una, un, un teclado nuevo. Está bien suavecito. Ok, simple present. What is simple present? But what is the definition of simple present? It's an action that you normally do. Okay. Moment. Uh-huh. Or in, in, in during this moment. Not okay. Mm-hmm. Or during this moment, mm, I don't understand. No, 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 in this moment that you mm-hmm. normally do. Okay, for example, an action that happens in person. for example, I cook, I cook a cake. Okay, I learn the I learn English. I read the book. 
I have English classes every night. Very good. So simple present is a habitual action. Correct? Yes. Simple present is a habitual action, correct? Correct. Este es el tiempo más importante de inglés. We don't see your screen. What's wrong with this? right now in this moment. What do you see? You, all the gallery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Simple present is the most important tense in English. Why? Because 80 to 90% of a conversation, it's always in simple present. Simple present. Yes, Habitual action. What is a habit? Every day, every week, every month, every year. Correct? I yes. take a shower every day. Correct? Correct. Correct. Okay, I'm going to stop the screen so we can look it over. So a habitual action is something every every hour. No me mien, no me dejen mentir. What do you do every two minutes? Women especially. Every two minutes. Mm -hmm. And the mirror. <laughs> the men's too. The the men's yeah. are watching the the cellular. Yes, it's true. Okay, yeah, it's true. So in general, what do we do every two minutes now? We check our yeah, cell phone. So we check our cell phone. What do you do every morning? Take a, sh a, a shower. Take a shower. Brush okay, good. our teeth. Mm -hmm. So listen. Take a breath. Se lo voy a poner más fácil porque si uno lee que es presente simple y presente simple dice que es una visión, una un hecho, una mentira, una verdad, un esto, un esto, bla 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 bla. Entonces se lo voy a resumir en dos cosas. Simple present is Something you do. Algo que hacen. Y ahí tiene que ir un verbo. I work every day. I take a shower every morning. Yes? Yes. I go to church every Sunday. Example, hay gente que va todos los domingos. Yes, no, yes, yes, maybe. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. We have English class from Monday to Thursday. Very good. So that is something you do. It's a simple present. Y la otra cosa is something that is. Algo que es. Que la diferencia que aquí no va a ir un verbo, pero es algo en presente. Y no es por meterme en política, pero es un ejemplo. Eh, Bukele is the president. Ahí no hay verbo. Y por eso es que dicen que eh, presente simple encaja una mentira, una verdad, una opinión, una bla, 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 bla. Y ahí está. Bukele is the president. Um, San Miguel is hot. ¿Qué tiempo es eso? Simple present. ¿Por qué? Porque algo que es. I am a, I work every day. ¿Por qué? Simple present porque es algo que hago. So simple present is two things. Something you do and something that is. 
Um, who is the president of United States? Joe Biden is Joe the Biden. president. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can't say um, Donald Trump because he was, so that's simple past. But right now in present time, please don't confuse, don't confuse simple present with drinking. For example, look, I am drinking mm -hmm. coffee in this moment. That's not simple present. Present continuous, present right? That's present continuous. Present, uh, uh, simple present is I drink coffee every day. All day. <laughs> I drink coffee all day, actually. I drink maybe four, five. I drink coffee before I go to sleep. Vaya. Si se las pongo. All right. So what is simple present? You use something. the simple present for it's something. It's your habit. Exactly. That is simple present. All right. So simple present we use for something that is or something that um, we do. Imagine this. Carmen. Yes, teacher. Are you married? Yes, I'm married. Do you work? Yes, I work. Where do you work? I work in Avianca. And what do you do there? I am the administrator of mobility. Oh, yes. Do you work in the airport or in Santa Elena? My office is in Santa Elena, but sometimes I go to the airport too. Okay. How often do you go to the airport? Mm, one or two times, twice a week. Do you have children, Carmen? Yes, I have a daughter. What is her name? Her name is Valeria. Oh, beautiful name. Thank you. Esta conversación fue toda presente simple. Si se dan cuenta, todas las preguntas que le hice fue simple present. Por eso es que le digo que es el, 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 el tiempo el más importante en inglés. Irónicamente, no es difícil. Porque es simple present. Y se va a oír en, todo, en una conversación extremadamente avanzada o básica. Siempre se van a oír tú. Voy, le pregunté, are you married? Yes, I am married. ¿Eso es algo que es o algo que hace? Something that is. Something that is, because there's no verb. Do you work? Yes, I do. Something you do, right? How often do you go to the airport? I go, I forgot, uh, Carmen. One or twice. twice. Once or twice, oh. but that's something she does. You see? So simple present. Really, remember that. It's, if you want to practice your English, you need to understand simple present. Algún día van a tener una entrevista de trabajo en inglés. Créanme, esto prácticamente era una entrevista, lo que le está diciendo Carmen. El 80% de esa entrevista va a ser simple present. Y ahí salta como present perfect. Por ejemplo, where do you work? Oh, I work in Avianca. Oh, really? How long have you worked in Avianca? Oh, I have worked in Avianca for... Pero el origen de todo viene en simple present. So remember that, okay? María Estela, creo que es primera vez que la veo. <laughs> Yes, teacher. Hello. <laughs> I, have, I have sick. Oh, okay. I am sick. Yeah. No, no, repeat. I am sick. Eh, eh, estuve. Oh, I was sick. I was sick. Y si fuera I am sick, is that simple present? I am sick. Simple. 
Eh, oh, sí, 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 lo está en este momento. I am sick. Yes. Is that simple present? Yes. Yes. Why? Eh, eh, porque es algo. Es, algo que es. Algo que es. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, because in this moment I yeah. am sick, I am married, I am yeah. happy, I am hot, okay. I am, uh -huh. yeah, it's, in this moment is, mm -hmm. that's the difference. Very good. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. Okay, see you thank tomorrow. You. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Oigan que dije, inconscientemente dije, I will see you tomorrow. Me estoy comprometiendo. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm going to see you, you tomorrow. But I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, everybody.